DirectX 12 real world benchmarks have just come out and the results are staggering. Pretty much DirectX 12 has shown on an i7-5890K with AMD GPUs an 80% boost in overall performance, which to me isn't shocking when you look at the way AMD cards are built. I honestly feel like AMD is going to benefit greatly from DirectX 12, especially the Fiji cards. Once we have games with DirectX 12, you know, the Fiji cards with those huge memory bus 512 megabits, or, you know, with uh, the HBM memory, it's just really going to blow right past everything. And it's already like if you do a crossfire of the Fury cards versus a crossfire of the Titans or 980Ti's in 4K, the Fiji cards start to really come into their own. I mean, it just makes perfect sense that this would be the case. An 80% boost with AMD cards, but on the NVIDIA side is a very drastic difference. It's just insanely different. Now, with low settings on a 980, you get a 9% boost, and frankly, 9% isn't much. But then on high settings, is Ashes of the Singularity with DirectX 12, there's a 12% decrease in performance in the NVIDIA cards. Literally, this is pissed off NVIDIA. As some early results show, DirectX 11 to DirectX 12 on the NVIDIA 980 is almost non-existent paired with Intel's Monster Core i7-5960X. The performance improvement on low quality settings is 9% and on high settings, curiously enough, there's a decrease of 12%. Meanwhile, those same tests on the AMD Radon 390X also paired with the i7-5960X illustrates a whopping 80% gain between DirectX 11 to DirectX 12. That's not remotely the whole story, but it seems to be enough to put NVIDIA on the defensive. As you well know, data can be manipulated to satisfy many different arguments. Even though several uh, other ashes of singularity results shine a very favorable light on NVIDIA, the PR department fired a statement in our inbox stating that any test using Oxy's Ashes of Singularity benchmarks presents are slightly invalid. Ashes of Singularity as the application side bug of the MSAA running the DirectX 12 executable on GeForce GPUs. Note that MSAA is enabled by default when you select the low, medium, high, and crazy presets on DirectX 12's version as a result. Benchmarks run using these pres presets are invalid. Several, if not most, tech outlets use these presets in their testing. NVIDIA went to say... No, oh, crap. NVIDIA went on to say, We believe that there will be better examples of true DirectX 12 performance. We believe the GeForce architecture and drivers for DX12 performance is second to none. When accurate DX12 metrics arrive, the story will be the same as it was for DX11. Strong words. And Oxy fired equally strong ones back in response, saying that NVIDIA's statement was inaccurate. Our code has been reviewed by NVIDIA, Microsoft, AMD, and Intel. It has passed the very thorough D3, D12 validation system provided by Microsoft, specifically designed to validate against incorrect usage. All IHVs, independent hardware vendors, have had access to our source code for over a year. I guess it should have said over a year, but you've got it. And we can confirm that both NVIDIA and AMD comply our very latest changes on a daily basis and have been running our application in their labs for months. Fundamentally, the MSAA path is essentially unchanged in DirectX 11 and DirectX 12. Any statement which says there is a bug in the application should be disregarded as inaccurate information. Oh, I'm kind of tired of reading this. It's a whole lot of uh, NVIDIA being really pissed off and wanting to beat the crap out of people. But right now, NVIDIA hasn't sponsored me, so, you know, I'm not going to show any biases. But, uh, you know, I get some samples to test out for my channel so I can grow my user base. And I will definitely admit that I can be bought. So, keep that in mind. Also, if you buy me, you get Mickey Mouse saying how great your product is. Oh boy! 
NVIDIA pisses all over AMD. AMD is for homos who like men's balls. Oh boy. Oh, that wasn't very good. Hold on. Literally, this is pissed off NVIDIA. To no fucking end. Now, honestly, could this be like a driver issue or some side of code issue? Uh, this, is, this is a strong possibility. As of late, NVIDIA has not been hitting it out of the park with their fucking drivers, if you ask me. Like, I just spent today, I spent hours trying to figure out, because it like forces me to upgrade stuff. You know, fucking Windows 10. Upgrades my shadow play and some other stuff, and all of a sudden, my shadow play doesn't work anymore. So it took forever of uninstalling and completely reinstalling and completely wiping off my computer and putting back on to get shadow play to work in game. But shadow play will not work on desktop anymore. So gonna have to wait for a hot fix for that one. There you go, Lottie Fring and Da. I mean, the drivers have been fucking up repeatedly. The three. 55.60 I believe is the newest one and still their SLI configuration conflicts that Nvidia has yet to fix that they were supposed to fix they said they fixed and it's still a big issue so if you're playing Battlefield 4 and you think you're going to do that bitch at 4k with an SLI forget it you're not it's over no SLI for you in some games there's another one I was reading it and people were fucking livid and you know what I understand if I had some like 5960K or X, you know, motherboard with DDR4 RAM X99 and two Titans. And I'm like, I'm ready to play my pornography in 3D vision. And I can't do it because my SLI isn't working. I'd lose my fucking mind. In other news, Windows 10 is still spying on you. Even if you turn off telemetry and you go in your registry and fix stuff it still finds a way to tell microsoft something so just great they knew last night i spent hours looking for the hottest lesbian porn kawaii and meanwhile windows 10 is fucking telling microsoft everything i'm up to he's looking for chicks with dicks you're a liar windows 10 they'll believe me uh, what do you want windows 10 mm -hmm. give me your credit card information faggot like, okay, just, just don't do this to me. Windows 10 probably ratted out Jared from Stubway for looking at kitty porn. Wow, that was a really dark joke. Even I didn't laugh at that. That was in smoky. That was in poor taste. Poor taste. You leave this room right now. You're fired as my rider. You are done in this town. You will never work in this bedroom again.